recording for uh, this will probably be just for the last hour and a half we have I'm not gonna break this into an hour long uh, segment so hey welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex I am Alex this is RimWorld we are playing with the Iberium Rim mod I've jumped in the pre existing start fucked around with a few things because I thought it was weirdly balanced and right now, oh, ooh, wow, that goes all the way to the top of the map. I'm trying to take a look at where I think would be a good place to start out. Nowhere near this, obviously. This is no-go zone. Uh, there's nothing terrible under here. These are best avoided. I want to look for, okay, well, unforbid these. I'd like to be away from this. Uh, this is mostly built already. I'd like to start out somewhere with rich soil and steam vents, which, you know, of course I do. So rich soil I'm seeing down here, right up here, in here a little bit. So bam, 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 steam vents. There's one, two, three right here. So, I'm not one to mine inside of these anymore to make bases, but this would be a really good place to do it. As it would be equidistant in here. If I put the entrance over here, then we could get at that. That's tempting. That's unforbid. This, and that, and that, and those, and this, and all that, and these. Just all the things. Hmm. <laughs> On some of the other starts, we got a much better start, but that's the game you play. The Tiberium Refinery starts down here. That's a thing. Within the caves? Yeah, some of the caves are interesting. Not, you know, this section of the caves. Ah, uh, God. They probably go on further than right here. This seems like a weird place for it to randomly stop. Ah, no geothermal up there though. And you can't really slow down Tiberium growth through mountain walls. You can slow it down in open terrain, but not through mountain walls from what I've tested. Oh. Right, three right there, huh? And one up there. Will enemies coming through here trigger this? They may. They may. Um. Ba, 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 ba. Hmm. I don't love any of these starting locations. I mean, here is fine. It's just a lot of slate. So if we built here, farmed here, it'd be all right. That's pretty unremarkable. But uh, there's this up here too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's start out there. Why not? So let's do a one of these. Stockpile area. Right up in here. Fill that garbage. Build a roof area right there. And just start moving things. I'll figure out what everybody's best at, but for the time being, just start moving things. Um, no one's really exceptionally good at anything. We have some decently well-rounded passions, but for the most part, it's pretty mediocre. No one's good at mining. No one is passionate about mining. Just about everybody's into making art, though. So, that's a weird fallback. All right. Now you're cleaning, so I think you're done with hauling. Yeah, you are. All right. You get a gun. You get a gun. You get a gun. You get a gun. Everybody gets a gun. Is this a steel wall we started next to? Really weird. Okay. Deconstruct this and deconstruct that. Let's start thinking about where to make you beds. And by where, I mean we're going to do it like right 
in here and build the base in this direction, probably. Because this and this are in this direction. So, furniture, we're just gonna need... Oh, oof, nope, not what I meant to do. Need one, two, three, four to start out. Let's go structure, let's put up a wall right here. Not gonna close all this in quite yet. I will, eventually. Strict. <laughs> hey, it's it's going pretty pretty well, right? Uh, we've had a few failed attempts because I vastly underestimated how toxic Tiberium is. I know in the lore it's supposed to be like uber toxic, but even having your people near it on a daily basis will slowly build up enough enough toxicity that. It takes them out of action very quickly, so we need to be mindful of that and careful. Oh my god, my reliance on wood is going to be my downfall again. So we're not making anything else out of wood, as there isn't any. This Tiberium refinery seems like it would be cool, but it's pretty far away. We might make use of this later on, but I'm not going to claim it, and I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to decommission stuff. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there should be enough steel from all the steel gadgetry all around here that... It won't be the normal, unforgivable sin to start... Doing, uh. Start making stuff out of steel. Though I'd like to make a stone cutter's bench and try to resist that as much as possible. So, uh. A approximately this is all ready to go. By that I mean rich soil. Now there's rich soil underneath here as well. So that'll be a tad awkward trying to get at. We also have this one up here, which is further away. This should be should be okay for now. Sufficient? Maybe not. Should I ask which storyteller? The storyteller is the new one for the Tiberium Rim mod. I don't actually know what they do, particularly. I imagine that they make Tiberium-themed events happen more often, but I'm not 100% on that. It's, um... What says it here? Uh, Storyteller... Where does it at? Here. Tiberius Librarius. Tiberius' database contains numerous battle reports related Tiberium conflict to the Tiberium conflict. He forces endless challenge attention, but allows mass recruitment. Yeah. And we're going on rough. So... I'm not sure what exactly that makes happen, but we'll see. And we'll see if it actually does work out well for this as it promises it will. So make granite do until I have like a thousand, a thousand might be a bit much here. Yeah, 400, whatever. Then um, other people. What can I have you doing? I can have people deconstructing this stuff to give me a tiny bit more steel. Again, I don't need it immediately, but it's busy work. More wood would be nice so that I can get... You know. A butcher table up. An electric stove I can build regardless. That'd be kind of nice. Sculptor's table... I don't want for the time being, but I'm gonna plant it down anyway. It's in the wrong spot. No, that was exactly the right spot. God damn it. And an electric tailor bench can go right here, and then uh, something else can go up here later on. Simple research bench can live right there, and yeah, we don't have enough anything for that. We need to cut more stone so that we can actually put up walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That through here and through there. Mm. No, a door at some point might be nice, huh? Let's see. 
Granite door. Nope, we're out of granite. <laughs> Just leave that open then. Have I ever played with Lovecraft Storyteller? I haven't. This is actually the, uh, the first non-vanilla Storyteller that I played with. So, because these Boomaloops have Tiberium Poisoning, which you get from being around this, or this, or this, they're getting sick and dying. And they're not the only ones. We're playing with half as much Tiberium stuff on the map. Is Prison Architect inspired by this? Nope. The uh, creator of this game actually contacted Prison Architect, Prison Architect's devs, and asked if he could make something in the same vague art style. So this is actually influenced by that. I think RimWorld started off with a very different art style that was not good. Didn't stick for some reason. I don't remember, it's been so many years. Let's see, granite door, hell yeah, right there. We are good on roof? No, actually roofed that entire area in. Another vein hub has spawned. This is a little horrifying, hopefully it stops doing that. This whole area will slowly be eaten up by this veiny soil and Iberium growth from little sprouts like this and trees like this. Which is fine and horrifying, and we don't have any way to counter that now. We might later, but not now. Let's go ahead and plop a battery down there, so as soon as we get both of these done, we can start charging immediately. We'll power up some stuff in here, but that's not really that big of a priority. We have some food growing, right? Now we have some power, which means we can make some food. We have four people. So I'd like to keep at 12 meals, no, 16 meals. Four per day. Four per day is more than you need, but nice. Oh god. Well, he has a Tiberium vaccine, which means he's not affected by poisoning or anything. But he's got a Luciferium addiction, which means... Recruiting him would be a bad idea. Not that we can, anyway. Who has the best social skills? Valdez? Valdez, and they're not much of a talker. Okay. Oh. I have no money. I have nothing I want to sell you. No, goodbye. Then there's nothing you want to buy from me, more importantly. Now, the reason I got these is that they can stop or slow Iberium growth. Now, you will need to, I'm sure, acquire more as the game goes on, but it, the scenario starts you out with a few so you don't get overrun just like immediately. This is my we considerate of it. It will need to be connected to power sources with more power than. I can really afford to manage at this point in the game. I mean, I say at this point in the game, I've just started. So, we'll have to be cognizant of that. Name of the village. Round three, oh, no, round three, fight? No, uh, get my faction a name. EVXH. Let's try to make something out of your names. No? Valdez, English, Zhao, and Hugo. Hugo. Brilliant. Hugo Enterprises. Uh, give this specific community a name. Landfall. It's very creative, I know. It doesn't matter. Those words are used in reference files, and that's about it. So these deep ground freezers freezes the ground from the inside out, frost and snow inhibit the growth of crystals, beware of high temperatures. I don't know what the beware of high temperatures means. Maybe they don't work as well in the desert, which would be pretty funny given that I'm playing in one, well no, I'm playing in arid shrubland, but functionally a desert. We're not seeing anything too crazy yet. No corpses have turned into anything weird. They will, though. 
let's tear that down while I can. Cut down even more trees. You want to wean yourself off of your wood reliance really early on. <clears throat> when you're playing in an arid shrubland, or if you're playing, even worse, in a uh, actual desert, we get a little bit of wiggle room, but there's a lot of things that require wood that can't be substituted for much else, at least not early on. Worth keeping an eye out for that. You're harvesting, you're hauling, you're hauling, you're hauling. Good, good, good. There's a lot of empty room down here, like no Tiberium in here at all. Oh, argument could be made that it would have been better to start down there. I don't know. Try not to overthink it too much. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, have I given you schedules? I have. I have assigned you all to run away in combat. No, no. Fight if you're attacked. And do not do drugs because some drugs are highly addictive and we can't reproduce or afford them yet and you won't be happy about that. Can I select the whole map and get all the wood? So, generally speaking, yes, but you can... Typically only affect a, like, what is this, a uh, 51 by 50 area at any given time. That's how big of a chunk you can assign orders to at once. So I could go around dragging a bunch of those, but I'm trying to be pretty intentional about where I'm cutting wood. Like, staying away from Tiberium so our people won't get poisoned, staying away from potentially dangerous things. Got those... Areas are getting smaller and smaller. Not by much, not very quickly, but every day these grow a tiny bit more. They start sprouting a few more crystals, a few more crystals, which then spawn a few more crystals and a few more crystals. <laughs> and these start infecting plants and eating up rocks and stuff like that. And these will occasionally spit out things like this. And the reason for it is that it's tearing things apart next to it. Prime Counselor has died. Oh, okay. Some leader of some faction that doesn't matter just died. Does not affect us at all. <clears throat> now we're doing... Okay, on wood. We're getting there on wood. Okay, base... base... <laughs> basecraft! A chunk of facecraft has fallen. Now, I don't want our people going up here, so I'm not going to mark that as places they should check out. Even this amount of Tiberium is enough to make people sick. You can try to cut out some Tiberium early on, but these big ones, I don't know how you get rid of them, or even if you can get rid of them. Need a research project. You're absolutely right about that. Let's start heading down towards this. So for that, we need machining. For that, we need smithing. So let's start on smithing. Stonecutter's table, we're doing this already. Butcher table, yeah. Butcher, do forever. Book meals when you can. Sculptor's table, that's nice and all. Let's run some actual power cables here and up here. Now, I'd kind of like to give you all separate rooms, but I don't actually know if that'll be possible. Or feasible, really. Possible? Sure. Feasible? No. Feasibly, we can do that, but I kind of want to make a compact base so I don't have to worry too much about our base growing out of control too quickly. You, Your growing zone goes right before that. Let's go into floors. Let's rip up the floors here. Don't even know what that's made out of. Mm -hmm. Been quiet so far. No attacks. The game's telling me that I need defenses, which it kind of it, but 
Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy at all. Oh, well this is... This is what happens when you hang out next to Tiberium too long. Power rising from the ground, these structures normally take years to form, similar to the monolith, but for green Tiberium, except it does not spawn Tiberium on its own, it's basically a decorative structure. Hmm. I grow next to wind turbines typically. It's not on this map that I'm doing it. Typically because this needs to be in the sun and this needs to be in the sun so it saves room. And I often plant things in here because it makes it so that trees can't randomly grow. Now on a desert map like this, that's not a huge consideration, right? But on maps where you can get more forced growing, that's a fair consideration then. I want heal root. We can we can plant heal root. Really? Really? Okay. Sure. Give me heal root. I don't know who's a good enough planter to do it, but bless you. Don't go to this table, make marble box, do it until you have. And there's our first raid. Turtles of cash. The turtles of cash. You can grow trees for wood, but trees will only grow in biomes fitting to what they need. So not a lot of trees are going to grow here. We don't really need much more wood. We can, we're starting to make stone blocks and we can make just about everything out of stone, but we're not fully transitioned yet. And I'd actually like to tear down this wall and this wall, which is a shame because I just built those power conduits. I'd like to replace all of this with granite, quickly, before we have air conditioning to worry about or anything else. Now we have somebody attacking, Ophelia has- oh, she actually has a gun! But she's just wandering around randomly right now, she's not actually heading toward us. Once she does, roof collapse. Roof collapses happen when a wall is too far away from or ceiling is too far away from wall supports. Raid, no problem. Remove the walls. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not too worried about them. Just one person. The roof collapse is honestly a bigger threat, I think, than this rando with a pistol. <laughs> Where? Yeah, right there. Because you haven't built the new walls yet. There we go. Oh my god, enough. <laughs> uh, and it's too dark for me to see. Oh, they're beginning their assault. So, hey. Let's all get enlisted and go outside. No particular reason. I want you to go south. <laughs> there we go. Here, you can. There's nothing to take cover behind. You can go here. You can go here. You can go here. No? Oh, I'm trying to give orders to a corn plant. You can go here, you can go here. You are injured because... How did she manage to shoot you? That was very good shooting, either way. Ophelia's... an okay shot. I say an okay shot, but she's actually holding her own against four people. Granted, none of these four people are good at shooting whatsoever. And Valdez is actually getting hit by her own people at the same end. It's pathetic. There we go. Jesus Christ, you people. Um, let's look at medical. You're in pain. You're in pain. Ophelia, you are... What, you got 7 hours to live, you got 18, you got 23, you're in no danger, you're in no danger. So, I want you to tend to English, I want you to tend to... Valdez? Where's Valdez? Oh, when the beds got destroyed. Okay, fair enough.
it's a downside of, you know, having a roof on that I can't see what the fuck is happening. Your chief's strong enough to beat all of your people, yeah. Well, they're chef. Oh, I thought you wrote chief. No. Chef? Chef. 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 He's a mid-world chef. Her shooting's a five, which is horrible, but look at us. Five, one, zero, seven. These are not fighters that we started out with here. They are not at all fighters. These are gentle people. Stupid, gentle people. There we go. Anyone bleeding out now? Oh, you two are not doing great, but... You know, English, you wanna... Tend. You wanna tend. No, I'd say, hey, we should have a doctor do it, but Hugo is our best doctor, and he has a six. He's a terrible doctor. Sensing a theme here? Because there's definitely a theme here. They're not really good at much. They're not bad at anything. They're not unable to do anything. They're just not really good at anything either. Yeah, quality. English is a good artist. Valdez is a good miner. Zal is a good miner. Good grower, good builder. And Hugo's good at p punching stuff, I guess. That's a pity. They'll get there. I'm saying that, kind of trying to reassure myself more than anything else. Ah! Quit, quit shooting our own people, you idiots. So, oh, that was a vein monster. Vein monsters are spawned by, well, these vein holes over here, which sounds like a terrible phrase. They get spawned by this, they go out, seek out stuff to attack. We have some up here. Visceroids are spawned off of when things die from poisoning too close to one of those. So, raids are not the extent of our problem or even most of what our worries are. Most of our worries are actually coming from the local environment here, more so than anything else. Granite walls are hard to put up. They take a long time to build, so it makes sense that our people are taking a, a minute to put them up, let's say. Hopefully, they learn to do that better. <laughs> but no one's dying here. Somebody had an infection? Right, minor infection. Getting over it. Who is our doctor? Hugo. He'll be a doctor. If you're gonna pretend to be a doctor, you might as well learn. We need a food source, which is the entire point of this, but we're gonna run out of food. <laughs> By that I mean we have run out of food? No, meals, no. We're not quite out of food, but we will be soon. And there's not much to harvest here. There's agave. And there are some raspberry bushes, but hunting is definitely the way we'll need to go if we're going to try to pull in anything substantial enough to last us for a prolonged period of time and wait for this corn to grow. At least everyone's building now. They're not good at building, but at least they're trying. Uh, let's go in the floors, and I want any floor in here torn up. We're gonna put in new floors once we're getting ready. Ooh. That's a good start. You're gonna mine that out, gonna mine this out, gonna square things up a little bit. I can smooth out the walls once we get to that point. That'll be nice. How are we doing on... Food, we're fine. The game is like, you need more food immediately. It's fine. We're not dying. It's okay. And even if we do start dying, we, we got time and we got space. This isn't really growing all that quickly. Blue Tiberium. Uh, producer Blue Tiberium. Okay, that doesn't really tell me much. Moss. Uh... Yeah, Blue Tiberium, Dangerous Green, Slower, and Explosive, alright. 
green can be refined into steel, blue can be refined into plasteel, red can be refined into gold and uranium using, I would assume, the refinery down here. But we're not to the point where we're doing that. So I'm just leaving that up to the imagination, I suppose. You do need a joy source. You're not wrong. The best we can do for the time being is horseshoes. I know how thrilling that sounds, but it's what we got. Put a standing lamp in here so it's not pitch dark. We are going to need to put floors in, actually give people bedrooms, make a proper... Um... Why do I want to call it an icebox? Refrigerator, freezer, all that stuff. But now, now, I need to start thinking about... Oh my god, look at this. Tiffalo? What the hell is a Tiffalo? Lost all their fluffiness to a crystalline structure. They seem less friendly. They eat raw meat and corpses. This is what happens to uh, Muffalo, apparently. That's fucking cool. I mean, it's terrifying as all hell, but that's fucking rad. So, I'm telling them to hunt these alpacas. Uh, seems we're not the only one interested in that alpaca. Hunting the alpaca to butcher them, to make meals out of them, so that we can, you know, eat. Boomerat has self-tamed. I'm not crazy about that, but okay. Sure. All right, game. Thank you. At least it's not a bad event. I have a hard time believing that's a good event, but okay. Mining this is excessive. It takes a long time, particularly because our people aren't very good at mining. But it does clear up that space. Oh my god, English, come on. Mm -hmm -hmm. Need more granite. I... I want you to put that wall up. Oh, Hugo and English are now lovers, so they'll share the same bed and they'll get bonuses from being around each other. That's cute. Let's get everybody up here. For no particular reason at all. Wow, okay, we don't need to be that close to it. We can be, like, way the fuck back here, right? Yeah, and by that I mean... Shoot that. For the love of God. Or for... Like shooting the broad side of a barn. A very big blue and black barn. Gotta watch out for those wild ostriches. <laughs> so the Tiffalo I wanted to hunt down just to see how hard it would be. It has a lot of meat on it, fair amount of leather as well, so hopefully in the morning somebody will go deal with that. And we don't have to worry about having food for another day. Now, once the corn comes in, it'll be a lot of corn, and we won't have to worry about food for quite some time. Never mind, the ostrich is fine. Not gonna die. Oh, uh, well, no, it'll bleed out and die on its own. There we go. <clears throat> blue meat, though. Mutated blue meat. Yeah, that's fine. Nothing unsettling or strange or discomforting about that. Nope. Nope. Nothing at all. Totally fine. There is... Oh my god, it's only blue blood. I'm like, there is blue Tiberium in here. Oh, fuck. Oh god, I don't want to see what elephants turn into. Please god, don't go over there. 
<laughs> Great. Tribes people attacking immediately. That's a tribes person attacking immediately. Oh, I should make defenses or at least a wall or something, but we took a very open location. very open location and I don't know I do not know well, I will say as far as floors go I don't like marble floors all up in here it's only gonna take 1420 marble what is that a lot or something um till then until then how do I want to start thinking about blocking this off? Do I even want to think about blocking it off? I don't think I do, because it's kind of a futile effort for the time being. I'm tempted to make a second bench for people to make more stone bricks from. Tempted, but not going to actually go through with it, I think. That's fine. This I could tear apart. These I should break down, I guess. No. Well, there goes a rhino. That's a pity. Rest in peace, rhino. They're gonna come through here. This is just a very hard area to wall off, especially considering I have this to close off as well, and this to close off. I'm not gonna be able to close things off. I can build a wall around our base to enclose our power operations, our mining operations, all that jazz, but Urgh. I I don't know. I don't know. We need many more deep ground freezers if we're really actually going to cut this stuff off. Oh, those are two blossom trees right next to each other. Oh! Huh. You can't cut them down. Could you shoot them? I mean, they have hit points. Right? Everything has hit points, so maybe you can go destroy these. Alright, here, here's, a, here's a random question. Meet up up here. Alright, meet up, meet up in like here. Once that was done throwing up, um, shoot at that. Oh, you can destroy these. Huh. Alright, now intellectual curiosity is satisfied. You don't need to destroy it, just knowing that you can is satisfying enough for me. <laughs> do I put you in a barracks, or do I just keep you all up here? I think I just keep you all up here. Now this looks horrendous, because there's no marble stone to be had. Oh, I could probably find some to make this go a bit faster. No, that's only steel. A spacecraft to land in nearby. There's a lot of that. If the game was expecting me to use steel. Iberian mushroom. You can harvest it. I don't know if I'd want to. Tribes people again. The storyteller does send to just tend to send a lot of raids after you. And not particularly potent raids, just a good number of people all at once type raids. Alright, now they're going home. Great. <laughs> I'm not bothering to bury them or anything else. I'm just trying to 
get this going. Oh. Yeah, I should probably get a second one of these going. I'm not I'm not thrilled about it, but I probably should get a second one going. Just to aid the speed of production. Yeah, let's do a second one. This one's going to be marble and then granite. This one is granite and then marble. Oh no, the blue meat has rotted away. <laughs> Add, make marble blocks, make granite blocks, do until you have X, do until you have X. X means 400 in this case. Where's that big blue terror? Wow, this is really blown up, isn't it? Uh, big blue terror. Where are you at? There's some stuff I could hunt down here. But, hmm. Man, yeah, you start running out of hunting options very quickly because everything starts dying. Oh, we've been picking fights up here with the Mega Scarabs? Really? All right, let's see, let's see. I guess just harvest all of this agave for now. There's some other stuff to harvest down here. I guess you can kill that emu. Not a lot of food by any standard. Mm -hmm. So I should be making a refrigerator. So here we go, let's make this little building into a refrigerator. Let's mark this to make sure this never has a roof on it. This will be a refrigerator if, by that I mean, put down a cooler, cancel that, build a cooler. It's 25, 26 degrees Celsius, that's not terrible not the comfiest place on earth but it's not terrible well it's also not on earth <sighs> minor break risk we'll be fine on food How are these elephants not starving there's like no grass out here at all for them Is this growing? Yeah, this is growing. <laughs> like, I don't think it's growing. And then I scroll over here and see how big this one's gotten and see it actively growing. Nah, nah, this definitely grows. Mad animal. Oh, local Tiflo has gone mad. Great. No, 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 no. It had a major infection. That might have been what made it go mad. Blood is just covering the ground in here. This is quite the weird looking place. Viceroids, blob-like and disturbing life form formed after the death of a creature by Tiberium. Yep, just lots and lots of these. Ugh. But we don't really need food anymore. That concern has been alleviated. Nobody really likes building, do they? Yep, no one really likes crafting at all or constructing in the least bit, so I know that once they get around to doing this, it means that they're done with everything else. It's a good tool. 
telltale sign, but it's also pretty annoying when it's fairly important that they get that done. Definitely, matter of fact, say that I'm open to getting new colonists. Artist vein. Stringy, throbbing, brownish red vein. Things. Oh, they did physical damage to living beings, but that's been removed for the time being. Well, that's a shame. That seems like it'd be quite good. And that's what they did in the Command and Conquer games, is do damage. Oh yeah, I can definitely force them to get the work done or change these priorities so they'll do it, but this is also a good way to keep me in tabs, or under tabs, or keep tabs on myself, whatever to restrict my bad habit of just assigning more and more and more work. If I'm noticing that, like, hold up, Alex, they're not even getting done what you've assigned them. Maybe, like, slow down a little bit? So it helps. It's good to have, like, a sustainable amount of work, but not an overwhelming amount of work. Holy god, they're terrible at researching, too. Zal really wants to be a good researcher. Well, they'll get there. We started out with some pretty crappy colonists, but they'll learn as time goes on, provided that they don't die, and that'll be nice. A Thrimbo. Gigantic creature of unknown origin, the Thrimbo, but this one seems to have a Tiberium infection. Great. Right, no, that's fine. I think that Thrimbo used to be that rhinoceros. I'm not I'm not actually 100 percent about that, but I'm I'm pretty sure. Ooh, what is that? Huge snake infected with Tiberium. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. Alright, this will finally start cooling. We want to take a look at more floors. This will also be marked for Marvel Mosaic floors, but that'll take a while to start getting done. But what won't is if I designate that as a stockpile and I designate this larger area as a second, no, as a second stockpile. There we go. Yeah, cool. So this stockpile, I already preferred. Food goes here, not cable, not hay, not pemmican, not stuff like that. And this stockpile is important. It can only have meals. Do that. Organize our food. For now, it's easier for me to tell at a glance how we're doing. Not great. Um, once this comes in, we'll be doing better. But for now, not great. And once that door is up... Thrombo's a legendary Pokemon. It certainly looks like one. Taming Thrombo's, and I assume Thrombo's, is really difficult. It's harder than taming elephants. Uh, if nothing else, there's a lot of Muffalo elephants, Rhinoceri, big creatures on this map, and that's been pretty cool. This looks so cool. But it's going to be such a pain in the ass to get rid of it all. <laughs> yeah, they're starting to put in the floors. Right on. One colonist is idle. Oh, she can find something to do. Not like there's a lack of work. And it's not like she can't do any of the work. You just have to find the right motivation to do so. I'd say I'd love to try to kill the Thrimbo, but that ain't gonna happen. The Thrimbo can only eat raw meat and corpses, so this thing will start hunting now. Thrombos are herbivores. Thrimbos are carnivores. <laughs> I would really prefer not to be on the receiving end of that horrific thing.
friendly AI, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not winning the game that way, so thank you game, but no thank you. Hmm. You know, you haven't cleaned up the floor over there, and you probably haven't done that yet because you don't consider that to be your home area. Uh, smooth wall, etch wall, etch wall decorative. This is a smooth or etched stone wall to be decorated. This provides artistic skill rather than construction skill. Night. Oh, so this is like year one, smooth it out. Year two, you can etch it once it's smooth. Year three, you can decorate it once it's etched. Oh, interesting. And maybe I should have done a cave colony. Research, machining. Let's start to come along. Food is not an issue. I keep expecting it to be, but I guess it's okay just to let them get to work on this. He's researching, they're smoothing out the wall. Smoothing out the wall will make it look prettier. And make it count as a... A little less ugly. A little less ugly. And it'll be deconstructed rather than mined through. I don't know. Kill the Thrimbo and your family will be cursed for seven generations. I mean, I don't think I could kill the Thrimbo at this point. Um, they're hard enough to take down normally. We have four people with guns, and that's nice and all, but... Ain't, that ain't to be messed with. Not in the least. Sometimes things die to Tiberium infection. Sometimes they mutate. And sometimes they get good mutations. Sometimes they get bad mutations. But sometimes really cool stuff happens. I'm trying to figure out which way I want to let this colony go. If I want to subject ourselves to mutation and see who survives, if anyone. Or if I want to try to drive it back. Or maybe a combination of the two. Decisions, decisions. Escape pod. Okay. Nabs. You landed on that visceroid. Fucking good job, I think. Was hurt and died. Yeah, I think it landed on it. Hugo, you are technically a doctor, so go rescue them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They're a wimp, uh, and they have bloodlust. Why is this likely to start a fight, but she'll fall over in that fight immediately? I, I want to recruit her. I don't want to just rescue her. How are you doing health-wise? There's a bad back. Hmm. Hmm. Is it time to start a boomalop herd? Uh, if... Are there even boomalopes on this map? I don't think so. Um, nope, just boom rats. Boom rats, elephants, emus, mega spiders. Fuck ton of visceroids. No, no boomalope on this map. Uh, we're short on food. Man, I don't, I don't know. Uh... Put down a squeaking spot right here, and give me some granite there. So I'm saying rescue, and then I'm just going to carry her real close to our base, provided this is done. I want it to be done. Then we'll capture her. And try to recruit her. Uh, well... Never mind. <laughs> I 
I, I want to see what happens when the insects are exposed to Tiberium too. I, I don't know how that changes, but I'm excited. This vein is doing great. I mean, this one's not. This one's not. And the blue one's going really slow. The red's starting to take off here a little bit. And this is horrifying. <laughs> Yeah, this one is just fucking horrifying. <laughs> I have them working on very important work right now, you know, putting up floors. Uh, can I put a dumping stockpile up here? Yeah, that's for the bodies. Just put the bodies up there. It makes them unhappy to see the bodies as often as they are seeing them, so let's just sequester those away. We're down to minor break risks, which is a hell of a lot better than major break risk. Well, I say, and then it defaults back to major break risk. Visitor has irons to uh, irons to trade, items to trade. Ichabod, the janitor. He's a starship janitor. Best subject. Psychically sensitive night owl pyromaniac. Good God, you are a weird dude. Oh, no. Nope. Alright, yep. Yeah, just hang out by the corpses, I guess. Alright, uh, we aren't social people. Valdez is best we have, and she's a joke. I'll go try to trade with them. Sell that, sell that, sell that, and it gets me, what, 14 whole silver. Very little. We are not wealthy people here. That's okay. I want a second windmill. Okay, this I want to grow rice. And this, want to grow cotton. This, I want to grow, uh, can these grow here? Hold on, hold on, what, what kind of a tree is this? Drago trees, Drago trees grow here natively, so I can probably get away with growing them here. Um, Drago tree. And here I want Drago trees. Cotton's good for a great many things. Rice is good for, you know, eating, which is kind of important, apparently. Uh... Not seeing much to hunt. That I can hunt. <laughs> the number of visceroids increases by the day, which is horrifying. Do I even want to go that far for that? I'm doing it already, I guess. Get it, Hugo. I guess I can hunt Viscerode, so I might as well, huh? To fight back. And sometimes they attack first. So I'm a little, little not into- oh, okay, nope. That's cool. Just steal my llama kill. Alpaca- alpaca kill. Oh, well, we definitely don't need to be hunting anymore. Today is corn day. Well, the first day of corn day anyway and we're gonna have a fuck ton of corn as is being demonstrated by this major break risk valdez 
Joy deprived, mediocre barracks, eight cooked Tiberium meat. Oh, it gives the uh, same penalty as eating insect meat. Mmm. Spiky pieces and burning sensation is covering my tongue. I feel sick. I was really worried that would give us Tiberium infection, but that does not seem to be the case. Will this dissipate on its own? Uh, it should be treated. English. Zao. I'll treat Hugo. Nope, oh, never mind. Hugo's too busy to be treated. <laughs> Gotta do some cloud watching instead. Alright, Hugo. Now, now tend to Hugo while they're distracted. <laughs> Oh my god, no. No, don't go into it. I don't need more... more fucking viscerites. <laughs> yeah, it really is just all big things. Elephants. Muffalo. Well, these aren't muffalo. Elephants. Muffalo. No, I say, and then a bunch of pigs popped onto the map. This chick got sick, like, immediately. That is horrifying. Mage break risk because we serve sweep, we enjoy, mediocre barrack, ugly environment, feeling good, yeah. Ah, another one. Great. Well, at least when this one's in the same neighborhood, doesn't really increase the coverage very much. It's not in our direction, which is really the important thing here. <laughs> Marriage is on. English and Hugo are getting married. Oh, Daz is still not very happy. That's okay, Valdez. That's okay. Now, these, uh, these deep ground freezers might not work very well in this hot biome. That would actually be very interesting if the game decided to take that route. Now, I don't know if it will or not, but it would be interesting. So, I'm... Looking forward, seeing how this goes. Not necessary to start it now, it's not like the Tiberium is spreading, but it'll keep this one at bay, it should stop anything from coming in here, and stop anything from down here. Now, there's no Tiberium down in this direction, or, well, there is over here, but... We can just plop one down over here if the time comes and try to prevent it that away. Or, you know, long term goal is just to freeze the entire map. Possibility. If a psychic ship or something like that lands and the um, snow that they protrude or project out from the ship, that can be good for fighting Tiberium, actually. It'd be hard to, you know, actionably make that strategy work, but an interesting thought, at least. <laughs> well, they might not like building, but at least they're doing it. Alright, this one should start... Was that line not connected? Oh, it's not actually connected all the way. There you go. Mm -hmm. 
and there's negative power. These are going pretty well. It's nighttime, and apparently the wind's not blowing that strong. Makes me want to build a third one, but that wouldn't alleviate the difficulty we're having right now. There we go. That's why I want the geothermal. That's why it was so exciting that we start with three geothermal over here. Of course, only this first one's really that accessible. These other two are promising, but we'll have to get through this and this. It says a chunk of a spacecraft, but it does drop like multiple ones at a time. Snow thick. Is that snow thick though? Yeah, it's starting to grow the snow. No slow. Not so thick. I wonder if I wall this off if the snow keeps on being projected outside of it. I may. That's all three of these connected? Really? Okay. And we're still making plenty of power. Fair enough, okay. So those are some short-term defenses against Tiberium growth. But it's very short-term, and because it's so hot, this is going to be <laughs> taking a long time to get up to its maximum radius. Long time. Once we can build these and reproduce these, we can use them to, I think, proactively push these back. There's a, another tech associated with that, but it's part of the process. Ooh, look at this Iberium Glacier here. I didn't even realize that there was water here. That looks funky. seen this haunt anything. I mean, granted, I haven't been looking that closely. Ah, there's a Tiflo. Oh, oh, I think it just killed this Tiflo. Thanks to the scratch in its neck. Its neck was bitten off. That's it's a hell of a scratch game. One big scratch. <laughs> Just straight up bitten off. Pretty big. Okay. What, what kind of awkward solutions we want to come up with here? So, this I can wall off. Do I want to? Eh, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling kind of mixed about it, but I'd like to be able to cut down on the avenues that things can get at us from. So, preferably by walling this off, walling this off, and setting up some kind of... Have you watched The Expanse TV show? I sure have. Uh, it is kind of similar to the proto-molecule, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, it really is. It's a very similar idea. The uh, Command & Conquer series was in the mid-early 90s, into the late 90s as well. I don't know when The Expanse was written, but it's the same general idea. It's like this alien stuff that crashed onto the planet that's slowly infecting everything around it. The, uh, the proto-molecule in The Expanse, I think, only infects biological things? That might not be true. No, that's not true. Never mind. But in here, it definitely affects non-biological things. Oh, okay. Okay, Hugo. He's also 70 years old. Really? What the fuck is this? Why do we keep getting 70-year-old grannies crash landing here? Um, she might not be worth saving because of the artery blockage. I don't, I don't know. Capture her, Hugo. And let's, let's give it a shot. We don't have the medicine to fix that. I don't even know if there is medicine that definitely fixes that. But let's try to recruit them. It'd be great if they just immediately recruited here. No, but it's a 4% chance, that's not bad. Oh. <laughs> 
This wall won't hold out anyone really trying determined to get through, and the goal isn't to stop people who are determined from getting through, the goal is to move them over here. Our molecule ends up terraforming Venus. Yeah, and I think it's gonna do the same thing in the TV show. So the, uh, it's the same thing, but this tries to terraform the planet into something not very little. It just beat an elephant to death. All right. Set myself spooked. Oh shit, does this have a gap in it? Holy fuck, this has a gap in it. So this goes till here. This goes till here. I need to reinstall this. Both of those grass are in here. Just that outer grass. So this needs to go right here. Well, that means I can deconstruct that. And that. And that. <laughs> Whoops. So let's clear home area. I don't want anything outside of this wall counting as home. Sure as hell don't want our people going out there. When is the next season of The Expanse going to start? That's a very good show. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to more of that. Let's see, you cover that big of an area. Um, you intersect right here, so that's where the wall will be. The wall will go here, here, right? Is that in range? No, it's not in range. Down from there? I guess so. Freaking weird wall. But that's what I got, okay. And then you can go here. Down and over? Yeah. That was right? Yeah, that's all covered in snow, that's all covered in snow, the whole thing is covered in snow. Beautiful. Machining. I want microelectronic basics. Filming season three this year. Ah, it's Game of Thrones syndrome. 2018 is just the year that everything is in production. Okay. Okay. Mental break, self-harm. A squid for wrist and is hiding in a room. Hmm. He's suffering from severe anxiety. That's unexpected. Yeah, she's eaten terrible things. She's a cramped interior. She's in a moderate amount of pain. Ugly environment. Awful prison cells left on the ground. She's feeling bad. She's in darkness. All of this will end once you join the colony. <laughs> then you're going to be in a big area where it's ugly and you feel bad. <laughs> you're uncomfortable. <laughs> but tribe people coming from down here. They'll probably make it to me. There's nothing crazy aggressive on the map yet. No, I do mean yet. And the Tiberium isn't that bad right now. Alright. Those are in range, they'll attack them instead. And once Camino goes down, they'll leave. Galga, you're prost to file, you're open-minded, but you're a fast learner and you can do anything. Well, er anything and everything. Let's do another one of these. <laughs> that's built by the time you're still alive, by the time that's built, you can be recruited. Otherwise, 11 hours? Ooh, I don't know. Everybody's going to bed. You might not have much of a shot, Galga. Alright, cool. Well, the snow does protrude through the walls. Stop self-harming. Ah, uh, bleeding is pretty. 
be not terrible, but unfortunate. Suffering from malnutrition. Man, they're really not in great shape. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh, Hugo's gonna go do doctor stuff. Hugo and Fuego. Hugo. Fuego. Clean that up a little bit. Feed them. That's great. How about building this new cell, or are we gonna let them die outside? We're gonna let them die outside, apparently. Alright. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm glad that you all appreciate a clean area, but I would also appreciate it if you enjoyed building more than you do. You don't like construction either. But you're a fast walker. And you're nimble. Being neurotic. Blessing and a curse. Overall, you're pretty good. I'd very much like it if you were to get recruited. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely tempted to read the books. It's not for a lack of interest, just a lack of time. <laughs> Eat cooked Tiberium meat, yeah. Yeah, let's just forbid that. <laughs> Insect meat is already forbidden. Ah, but not... Meat, stone dairy, insects... It's not a T for Tiberium here. Hmm. And we're not seeing all of the mutated blue meat. Uh, green meat, there we go. Starting to find it. What is this? Viscerate of matter. God, that's such an appetizing way to describe it, isn't it? Viscerate of matter is no longer cookable or edible. Proto molecule makes vomit zombies out of the people. Oh! Damn. Yeah, okay, so that's a. Uh... Beans. Ah. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ! There's four of them now? I don't like any of this. And there's Tiberium gas. The uh, vomit zombies. That's. Is that what they're referencing on the Rick and Morty episode? I mean, it probably wasn't there that it was first made up, but Rick and Morty obviously didn't make it up. Obviously, it was a reference. What I meant was, it was referencing the Expanse books, not not the alternative. Uh, let's see. Well, you're welcome to be part of this colony. <laughs> There's no telling how long it'll last, given that a uh, whole bunch of fiends just moved in here. Let's give you some more work. You like hunting? That's great. You're not crazy about growing. You like mining. You like researching. You're an extra pair of hands. Which episode of Rick and Morty? Uh, the hive mind one? They're on a spaceship in the very beginning, and they're, the hive mind spreads by zombie vomit. The, oh my god, it's season two? Yeah, it's season two. Unity. Yeah, I cannot remember the name of the episode. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm a bit terrified. There's a Tiberium Terror, there's a Tifalo, there's several big Tiberium fiends. Nah, you don't think so? Yeah. I don't know. You mean calling the vomit zombie thing a trope might even be pushing it for me, right? <laughs> like. 
that's how actual diseases are spread. It would make sense that media would uh, would show it that way. I want to call it a trope, but I think I'm wrong in doing so. <sighs> yep. Iberium gas. Gas? Is the gas from you? I honestly can't tell what the gas is from. Oh, it's from this. The Tiberium geyser. Tiberium geysers? Oh, the geyser has been infected with Tiberium. It could serve as a useful... It could be useful for a Tiberium spike. Oh, God. So walking on the cracks around this makes it weak gas. Oh, God. This is going to be horrific when the other one goes, too. Not into it. Don't want it to happen. Oh, as long as we keep this one safe for now. Another vein hub. At least it's in the same neighborhood. There's a lot of predatory things on this map and not a lot of me. I am... Pretty intimidated. This is starting to grow. Very pretty. There's another rhino down here. Ooh, there's a small Tiberium fiend. Cute as hell. Oh, tornado! That's what the doctor ordered, I guess. Not often do tornadoes cut through the middle of mountains. Uh, tiny. T tiny. <laughs> Don't know if you're aware, but often they avoid trying to cut directly through mountains. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Alright, well that impotent wall is up. And I, I do mean impotent. It won't hold much back, but it makes me feel slightly better now that it's there. Ooh, crawler dead from... Oh, being attacked by a Tiberium feed. Yeah, they will turn on each other. Okay. Interesting. I mean, why wouldn't they, I guess, but... It's reassuring that they do. Otherwise, there aren't many viable food sources on the map that aren't me. Does the cold stop the gas? I don't think so. I think this is stopping the gas. The gas gets released every time somebody walks over it. Oh, here you go. Oh, no. Apathy. Did he just run out here to die? What what's happening here? Or is he being hunted? Hugo is stop being apathetic. Yeah, I imagine so. Uh what the fuck, Hugo? Hugo literally threw himself at an animal until he died. Decided that we were growing colonists. Now we're back to four. Less meals to cook. <laughs> Horrifying sounds. I hope this boom rat dies and burns us all to the ground. Burning Tiberium doesn't do anything. Oh, this is explosive, though. Uh, blue Tiberium is very explosive, so th that might actually go up. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it expands up to a certain radius or if it just keeps expanding. time being. Shh. 
sure somebody open this and go out here inevitable death. Great, great. You did it. You beat it. And then you caught on fire. You happy English? <laughs> Now, English are gonna need medical attention. We need better colonists. Mmm, boom fiends, right. They don't die when they die in here, they turn into boom fiends. Boom fiends are explosive fiends. I forgot about that. Right. <laughs> well, do I want a wall in here? <sighs> Not really. I want things to be filtered through here, so if anything, I'll put a wall in here. And a wall here and a wall here. Well, I guess just a wall here is all that's necessary if they'll still go around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's see. Structure. Granites. Do one of those. Here <laughs> goes. No longer in. Keep walking. Hard to tell if we're doing well or not. I mean, we're alive, but our progress is very slow because none of these people are very good at building, nor do they like building. So, oh, hmm. Getting a little bit done at a time. Little bit. Oh. Well, I'm seeing here on the, the road, it's not frozen and it's not covered in snow. That might mean that it can use the road as an artery or a delivery mechanism. That would be interesting. It would be very interesting. Hmm. Hmm. We have enough food, and then some. We're putting up walls to make sure things come from the right area. Once we do that, we can set up a kill box to make sure that we can actually reliably kill things. And then, after we do that, <laughs> I suppose we can focus more on improving your living conditions. How did you catch on fire? Uh, Multi-analyzer, I need a high-tech bench. I can look into that right now. Battery's broken down. That's a shame. They're building this wall, which makes me very happy. Fix that battery. Now go tear down that so I can put in a energy hog research bench how you doing We're doing okay we are no we have 138 components we are fine on components damn yeah that's quite a few i was worried that we were running low nah <laughs> not at all Iberium grass looks cool. I mean, everything looks cool to me. Had a tonic. Yeah, your fiance died. That's that's fine. Somebody rescue her? <laughs> nah, just leave her there on the ground, I guess. I'm not even sure how much the cold effectively stops the Tiberium. Sounds like fire might be a good way to get rid of the blue, at least. Hard to say. 
for sure. I remember there being something about this in the games, but for the life of me, it's been it's been like a decade since I played them last, or more than a decade. It might be incentive for me to start a companion campaign with this where I play through those again. That could be fun. <laughs> oh, they do fight each other. Like, the fiends actually fight each other. Wow. Huh. I figured the smaller ones might, but... Another vein hub. It's in the same area. Your right arm was bitten off. Oh! And your left arm has a serious old gunshot wound. Damn. Beans are nothing to mess with. Cure anxiety? You can cure anxiety with Glitter World tech. Huh. Well. That's pretty cool. Would like some of that technology. Let's... Unhome all that area. That can be home. This can be home. That can be home. Now we can start thinking about kill boxes. Or I can just let them finish the stupid floors. <laughs> For a bunch of, bunch, of, bunch of people? Bunch of people who don't like crafting. Constructing. I mean, they're getting okay at it. Not like they have much of a choice, I suppose. Eight without a table. Very joy deprived. Oh, I could put a table in here. Yeah, that might be way overdue. Why don't I? Why don't I look into that? Uh, let's. Well, that's wood. I want to be careful about putting down anything that's wood. So if I did, it'd have to be steel. That's why I haven't done it. I do have the animal breeding mod on, but animals don't survive long enough to breed. Uh, on some of the other maps we've done, and honestly I might go back to them. Because uh, while Tiberium is cool, this has been kind of... It's oppressive kind of cool, like... The wildlife has no chance at all. It'll spawn and die, spawn and die, which is uh, new. Maybe, maybe I just need to accept that's the way things are gonna be. But wildlife tend to play such a big role in RimWorld that it's odd. The only pocket of things that might potentially reproduce are down here in this corner of the map. This is the only non. Tiberium corner, but then fiends like this will come over and just eat things very quickly. And I don't know. I was seeing how it worked earlier on a map and we got a huge population of panthers. That was very cool. But no, I don't think I'm gonna throw this one under the rug, or under the... under the bus quite yet. I'm gonna... there's some euphemism there. I'm gonna come back to this next time and hope that it works well. Hugo's very dead. His face, left leg, and right foot were bitten off. Yep. Pretty brutal. Yeah, and we have plenty of food. And we've been able to fight off the raids we've been getting hit by, so... Now this, this could be fine to come back to next time. Now let's up this. And I'll leave it there. I'm gonna save here, because it's about midnight now. By that I mean it's probably past midnight now. By that I mean it's definitely past midnight now. I've had a fairly good day doing this. What with the sniffling and all. I might be back tomorrow. Check the schedule. Follow me and all that jazz but yeah, you'll, you'll see me when i'm back youtube you know what's up tomorrow new video etc etc till then goodbye youtube